I'm Pete. I'm Stephanie, and we're here with an update on the Cool Parts Showcase, our first ever contest to find subjects for the Cool Parts Show. First of all, thank you to everyone who took the time to enter. We were inspired and impressed, and we learned something from every single entry, so thank you so much. Now it's time to reveal the finalists. Parts named as finalists will be on display at the Additive Manufacturing Conference and Expo. You can see the parts there. You can vote on your favorites there. And we will announce the winners live at that event in Cincinnati in October. But if you can't be there, you can still vote. Find a link to the ballot on additivemanufacturing.media or in the description. So without further ado, your finalists. In the category of best production part, honoring a part or product that is produced through 3D printing, your finalists are. Machine tool maker DMG Mori produced this adapter through selective laser melting to aid its CNC machine tools. The adapter fits on a machine tool spindle to transfer cooling lubricant and oil-air mixture to the cutting tool. Compared to a previous design made conventionally, this 3D printed design replaces 71 parts with just five, improves fluid flow, and cuts the part weight in half. Developed by Quorum Prosthetics, the Quattro socket is a prosthetic socket with three adjustable zones, allowing the wearer to quickly modify compression and the overall size. The sockets are printed from PA12 and TPU, which makes them lighter and less bulky than conventional carbon fiber sockets made by hand. Ford Motor Company developed the additively manufactured dual-rate chassis coil spring sleeve. An aftermarket part, formerly made through extrusion forming, now is 3D printed in TPU to reduce weight, reduce material use, and simplify assembly by eliminating adhesive between the sleeve and spring that the old part used to require. The Modulus ALIF submitted by Nuvasiv is the latest addition to the company's Modulus family of 3D printed spine implants. This implant has optimized topography for bone growth, compliant locking mechanisms for securing the screws, and it requires no post-print machining. In the category Best Bespoke Solution, highlighting a unique item 3D printed to solve a specific problem, your finalists are... Fabrisonic used ultrasonic additive manufacturing to create parts for Pacific Northwest National Laboratory that have their unique part ID built into the part. Alternating layers of aluminum and copper create the part's identifying barcode, and a sensor printed into the part reads this code to confirm the part and prevent counterfeiting. The 3D printed layers are the part's ID. This submission from Brascom and Dive Design is a custom wheelchair for Instagram celebrity and rescue dog Wobbly Hannah. 80% of the chair was 3D printed using carbon fiber reinforced polypropylene, and it is customized to Hannah's unique body type and motion. Savage Automation, along with Additive America, created this end of arm tool for a robot that reaches into an injection molding machine to place metal parts that get covered in plastic. Three separate compressed air circuits, plus tracks for wiring, are all printed inside to make a complex automation system that is simple on the outside because of the way all the complexity and functionality is contained within this form. About 60 hours of engineering time went into a device that couldn't be made any other way. Sent to us by 3D Printing Colorado, this part is a reverse engineered nacelle for a gas-powered remote control plane, based on a scan of the original part. While this was a custom solution, the part could be repeatable as an upgrade or replacement for other RC planes in the future, as they frequently require replacement parts after particularly rough landings. In best proof of concept, recognizing a part that lays the groundwork for future production through 3D printing, your finalists are. Advanced Engineering Solutions in Colorado made this heat exchanger that cools the gearbox oil of a helicopter. The gyroid lattice form made through direct metal laser sintering could never be produced through machining, but this geometry improves the efficiency of the heat exchanger by a factor of four while cutting the size of the unit in half. The BAM Dam. This submission from Cadence is a series of 3D printed parts made through big area additive manufacturing, currently installed in a micro hydropower test bed. They've proven the feasibility and affordability of large area 3D printing for small hydropower applications and are getting ready to move into production with this solution. Atom Bioprinting created a replacement bone through 3D printing. The binder jetted humerus bone head replacement was made of a medical powder form of the same mineral found in bone and it was made to match the precise contours of a real patient's anatomy. 
This cool part is a scoliosis brace being developed by Fitted and manufactured by Extol, who submitted it. 3D printing is often used to consolidate parts, but in this case, the brace is split into more pieces to reduce cost and to fit more parts into each build. They are assembled in an automated ultrasonic welding process. Ultimately, these devices will be customized to each patient using an algorithmic design process based on a scan. Thank you to everyone who submitted a cool part. Now go vote for your favorite in each of the three categories. We'll see you in Cincinnati. Thanks for watching.